Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a full face of stick products and I'm going to start with complexion and kind of work my way through my routine for the day and just kind of get ready. So as you can see, I already have my eyebrows done and I have a few other things that I did before I started recording so I will kind of walk you through that. For brows, I did use my, precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. It's a stick product so it counts, right? Um, I did this off camera just because my brows normally take quite a bit of time. Right now I'm wearing shade three. Um, I can also wear shade four, which is a little bit deeper, but today I went with three and I think it works. And then I set everything with the brow glue from NYX. Now, I don't know of a brow glue or brow wax gel that comes in a stick form. So if you know of one, let me know so that I can look into it and add that to my collection of products. So I used what I had, which is this. So for my primer today, I chose to use my Laura Geller. It's just clear. There is no tint to it. There's no shimmer. So it doesn't interfere with any of the other products I'm going to be using today. And that's what the packaging looks like. And it has a pump, which is great. And I just did one pump and I apply that all over my face. It just feels a little strange because I normally do my brows after complexion. But today we're doing things a little bit differently, trying a different order. And we're going to see how it turns out. So those are the products that I have on and then for my lip balm I just have a little bit of the Makeup by Mario Moisture Plumping Lip Serum again another to stick form and this is just the pink glow to kind of prep and hydrate my skin on my lips so that when I get to my lipstick for the day they're ready to go because they are a little bit dry. So for today's foundation product I'm going to be using the stick foundation from Merit Beauty. This is the Minimalist Complexion Stick. I have it in shade linen and I'm going to just sort of talk about this product a little bit with you and what I like so far of stick makeup. And so this is the shade Linen. It's a little bit more yellow, but I think it's going to work. So that's what Linen looks like. So the good thing about stick makeup is that it's effortless. It's just that minimal, less is more approach, which is what the brand is known for as far as merit is concerned. But the stick products, they kind of are just easy. You just kind of glide and scribble as you see here. And then you kind of blend with your finger or a brush. I think those are the best options for blending. I'm going to use my It Cosmetics. This is the Heavenly Luxe Duo Brush. And I'm going to apply this and blend this out. And I feel like linen is a very good match. It's got a little bit of yellow. But as you can see, it's blending in very, very easily. And it's kind of evening things out without feeling like a heavy thick cakey layer and then you can also sort of pinpoint and target certain areas that you want a bit more coverage this is supposed to be a foundation and concealer so we're going to take some under the eyes as well and see how that looks as far as coverage for me and then I'm just taking a damp sponge and blending out under the eye and it provides decent coverage I would say for me I'm getting a kind of light to medium once I'm blending this in on my under eye area, I can see that it's sort of removing a little bit of product and that's just the nature of using a sponge. It's going to eat up more products. So I think that brushes and or your finger is probably the better option for blending out this particular stick. So here is that product blended in and a little bit under the eyes. It looks fresh and really nice, very smooth and even. But it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't feel heavy, and up close it doesn't look like it's settling into my pores, which is great. I did use a stick foundation from a different brand, I think it was like a year and a half ago, and it just really settled into my pores, and it just did not look good at all. And this is a way better option for me personally with having larger pores. I do like that, and I do like how the skin is not flat and mattified. It's got a little bit of a natural glow to it. so. Hopefully it doesn't um, get too oily as the day progresses. But we are moving on to a little bit more concealer. And I'm going to be using an old concealer in my collection that I have enjoyed, but I haven't really used much on camera and haven't really talked about a lot. And it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Concealer. I wear the shade number 10 Fair. And I bought this like a year ago or so. And I do like it. I just haven't used it in a long time. And it just... It's that smooth, creamy glide. Real nice.
very good concealer. I haven't used that in a while, and I'm just reminded about how good that is. So it's a great option from the drugstore. I do want to set my concealer, though, so I'm going to use a bit of setting powder. Of course, that's not in a stick form, but the powder I'm going to use is from House Labs today. This is the Bio Blurring in the translucent version. So I'm going to set my under eyes, and I'm going to use my little mini Huda Beauty Puff Sponge to apply that, and then we're moving on to bronzer, blush, all the good stuff. So for bronzer, I have a few different options in my collection. I do tend to use sticks from time to time more often than I do foundation sticks. I absolutely love the Rare Beauty one. This is in the shade called Power Boost. It's the bronzing stick. This is just incredible. It blends well. It's pigmented. It doesn't just get muddy looking on the skin. It really is a beautiful formula. Very reasonably priced at Sephora. And so if you're new to sort of stick bronzers, I would say start here. This is really great. The ones from Milk Makeup are also good, but they tend to be a little bit more, I think, dewier in finish than the Rare Beauty ones. And then the Nude Sticks line also has some stick makeup. That's pretty much what they do is products in stick form. And so this is the Nudies All Over Bronzing Color. This is just a mini from a set, but you can get them in full size and minis on their website as well. So that's a few different options for brands to try, but I think I'm going to use the Rare Beauty today and show you how easy that is. And mine is like completely flat because I use it all the time. But this shade is a bit more warm and it's just, it's too easy to use. I'm going to use the same brush from my foundation and I'm just going to tap and bounce that into the skin. For blush, I have so many different options in my collection. It's really kind of hard for me to narrow down what I want to use. I like the M Cosmetics blush sticks, the Persona ones. I have a few of those. The Makeup by Mario, the NARS multiples, even Milk Makeup has their versions of stick blushes. You will see a lot of those on the market. More options in the blushes than you will find in foundations. So I have a lot to choose from. I don't know. I just kind of feel like I want to do something a little bit bright and fresh. This one from Makeup by Mario, the Soft Pop Blush Sticks in Pale Petal. It's just such a pretty kind of corally color, perfect for summer. And I think I'm going to use that one today. It's one of my favorites from my collection, to be honest with you. I really do enjoy it. So you can definitely work this directly onto your face from the stick, but I like to work from the back of my hand or a makeup palette. And I'm going to just pick it up with that same brush, and I'm just going to kind of pat this on. And the formula is super creamy and easy to use. It doesn't take a lot of work and effort. Like, all of these products are just the perfect everyday, simple, minimal makeup kind of products. Really, really beautiful. And I, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling a little bit... Like, I want to add a little something. I have these two blushes from Persona. I have Jam and then Bubble. Bubble is the viral one that is that Barbie color. So it's very appropriate for this time with the new Barbie movie out. Uh, but Jam, don't underestimate Jam. She's beautiful. And Jam is the perfect name for that color. It is exactly what you would expect. I'm going to take a little bit of Bubble, which is really bright. And you'd be surprised at how beautiful this looks on the cheeks and how natural it looks when you blend it in. It's like the natural flush that your skin would have. And it is incredible. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and just kind of layer that over the Makeup by Mario. So for highlighter, I have a couple options. The first one I'm going to show you is the Westman Atelier Highlighter Stick in the shade called Nectar. This is beautiful, you guys. However, the formula of this is very balmy, very emollient, super creamy looking. It doesn't set down, so if you don't like that wet look, that kind of slightly Vaseline type of look, then you may not enjoy the West Atelier. And the other option is the Nudies All Over Face Highlight. This is, again, one from a small set that I purchased, and this is Bubbly BB. And it's a really nice, I'll show you, really nice kind of like golden shade. And it glides on very, very easily onto the skin. And again, it is slightly creamy. 
a little bit of tackiness left behind, so just something to note. It is very balmy. And honestly, the formula is very, very similar to Westman Atelier in that sort of kind of textured, balm-like feel. And I don't use a lot on my nose just because my nose does produce oil throughout the day. And it will just look a little bit kind of, a little oily. So I kind of keep it to the high points of the cheeks only when I'm using these. And I'll show you. Let me just apply some of Westman Atelier over the top so you guys can see it. Why not? The nectar is beautiful. It's like a soft peach with a bit of a kind of golden sheen. It's really, really nice. But again, you will still feel, like I can feel a very kind of balmy texture. So something to note. And I'm not going to apply this one on camera because I have so much on my face already, but the Undone Beauty that you can find at Ulta has a highlighter stick as well. And this one is in the rose shade, but this one is a water highlighter. And it's like a soft kind of pinky glow. I'm not going to use that because I feel like I have way too much on right now. So now we get to move on to eyes. And I have a lot of stick eyeshadows. They're my favorite. I did a video all about the one and done eyeshadow looks. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the cards and I'll take you to that video. I show you a tutorial and I talk you through all of my favorite one and done shadows and what to look for, tips, things that are really useful when shopping for those one and done eyeshadows. And what I think from personal experience is the best colors, the best finishes, and really what's going to give you that one and done effect because there is a certain kind of tone that you should go for that kind of mimics the sort of dimension in the crease, looks different on the lid, and you want to recreate that with one color. So you want something with a little bit of depth, nothing that's too light and highlighty because it just doesn't give you that contrast when light hits the eyes. So just something to note, check out that video because I have tons of different options for you to choose from and I have different colors, warm tones, cool tones. Some that are more glittery, some that are more satiny, shimmery, some that are really metallic. So it's a great video. Check it out um, for some recommendations. Today's makeup, I'm going to do something a little bit kind of bronzy. Bronze is one of those tones that I absolutely adore. I think it's just such a beautiful color to add that smokiness and intensity to the eye without it being too overly dramatic and dark. So one of my favorites is the color Chameleon from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade called Amber Haze and it is marketed to enhance brown eyes. But if you don't have brown eyes, you can still use this color and get the effect of it. It is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorites. You do have to sharpen it. It's not one of those sort of twist up pencils or twist up crayon type of shadow sticks like I mentioned in that video. I'm going to just go directly into my lid space here, but I'm going to start kind of scribbling this on as if it were eyeliner onto my lids, really close to my lashes. And then I'm going to start scribbling and moving towards my crease. And then I'm going to go right in with my finger and work this into my primer and really sort of blend out those edges really, really quick. If you don't move quick enough, it will set and it's not gonna move. And that's gonna be a bit of a challenge to kind of get this to stay in place and sort of move after it sets. Like it's just not gonna budge. God, I love this color. Yes. You see how it's smoky, but it's not crazy. It's not over the top. It's not ridiculous. It's just, yes. Love it. And then I'm going to do, like I said, a little bit thicker and just barely tapping out the edge to kind of diffuse and blend into my lid and crease area. But I want to retain that amber kind of golden. It's just... It's spectacular. I love it. I'm going to take that same pencil and do the waterline or lower lash line. Thicker on this outer part and then blending and tapering it in as I move towards the inner corner. Then for a little bit of inner corner pizzazz and just a little bit of a something special, 
I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Shadow Stick in Pearlescent Pearl. No, Passionate Pearl. Not Pearlescent Pearl. Passionate Pearl. <laughs> and it is very, very light and brightening. So I use my pinky finger to sort of warm up that product. You can go straight into it if you want and sort of work it right into this inner corner and just dab it very lightly and it gives it a bit of a satin kind of finish and I will show you on this side when you go directly in it's a lot more bold so you can really sort of work these products and make them work in multiple ways lightly or a little bit more intense I think I'm pretty much set with my eyes with color and eyeshadow for the day I just need to do a little bit of eyeliner and I have two in front of me that I absolutely love. My Makeup by Mario pencil or my Victoria Beckham. Both of them are a really beautiful chocolatey brown, which I think will play up really, really nicely with my eyeshadow color. I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario just because it's the one I've been using every day. And I'm going to tight line with it and also a little bit close to my lash line. Not too much to overlap that color that I have on my lids already, but just a little bit to define my lash line. Lastly, for eyes, I'm gonna finish it off with mascara, and of course, this doesn't come in a stick form, so we're gonna go in with just regular mascara. The Pill Talk from Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite, one of my top, I would say, it would be my top three, for sure. And here's the eyes complete with that mascara. I absolutely love this mascara, and it is just, it amazes me every single time. The thickness, the length, the volume, the drama that this gives my lashes, it's like no other. It's truly one of the best mascaras that I have ever used. So I have a few different lip products that I was thinking about using. I have not used this Hourglass lipstick on camera in a long time. I think I may have used it once, but I used it this weekend and it is beautiful. It is the shade called Oasis number 312. And these are those new unlocked lipsticks that came out several months back. And it's a beautiful formula. And I will show you a swatch of this color. So you can see it's a little bit more of a deeper kind of nude with a touch of rose to it. For me personally, it comes off a little bit darker because I am pretty fair. So that contrast between my skin tone and this color is a little bit more on the deeper side. One other product that I love in a stick form are these from Nude Sticks. If you have not tried their gel color lip and cheek balms, check them out. I don't usually use this formula on my cheeks because it is very, very emollient, very wet looking on the cheeks and I don't personally like that on me, but it is a beautiful formula and you do have to sharpen them, but they do provide you the sharpener when you purchase one of their products. So I'm gonna just leave that lip balm on because it doesn't really matter since this product from Nude Sticks has a very glossy finish. And it's like the perfect pink color. And because it's in a stick pencil form, you can actually line your lips with it first, overdraw a little bit and fill in, and then you're done. It's like taking care of all of those steps in one product, so it couldn't be easier. So let me show you what Oasis over the top looks like. It just deepens it a little bit. That color combo, I'm telling you what, these two together are beautiful. If you can find a color in this range, if you like a glossy, very sort of juicy looking lip with a great color payoff, these from Nude Sticks, don't sleep on it. They're really good. I love it. I love that color and how easy it is to use. Like I don't really need to mix the hourglass, but I kind of wanted to use it on camera. I love the packaging. I'm a sucker for bunnies, so I just saw it's really pretty. The packaging, it's very luxe. I love the gold, but the formula is spectacular on those lipsticks, by the way. So if you haven't tried them, also another great recommendation. But before I kind of wrap everything up, I'm feeling like I want to add a little bit more blush. Just, you know, why not, right? Why not just add a little bit more? So let's do Persona Jam. Let's add a little bit of that. Let me show you. Boom, baby. It's intense. You could also use these on the lips too. So if you didn't have a stick lip product to do a full face of sticks, but you have like stick blushes, use them on your lips. Go for it. I'm going to take that same color. I'm going to use that same brush actually, which is probably not a good idea since this is my foundation brush. <laughs> I'm going to have to wash that anyways. It's fine. 
work that really good into the brush and just tap on the apples of the cheek. Mm. Yes. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the look. I personally love everything about this look. Start to finish, everything was just great. And I want to redo this look again tomorrow because I love it so much. It's fresh, it's dewy, it's giving that youthful kind of glow to the skin without being too oily. That pop of color at the end with that additional blush just really took it over the edge for me. The eyes, as I said, I'm a fan of bronze, so I love this. This is definitely my wheelhouse. This is what I feel most confident in, those sort of bronzy, smoky tones. The lip combo couldn't be easier and could not be better. Like, that is like my newest obsession is combining those two together and I'm just so happy that I was able to share that with you today on camera. The description box down below is going to have everything and the colors, tones that I use in those products in case you are interested in trying them for yourself. Share with me your favorite products in stick form or what are your go-tos for summer. I love hearing from you guys and the feedback you guys give me, the recommendations are always just amazing. So thank you so much for watching for commenting, and I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Follow me on Instagram. It's here on the screen. Hope to see you there. Take care, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.